Hi, Matt. Could you tell us about the process to design these masks? Yep. So, uh, using the knowledge I learned at Oakton Community College in the uh, SolidWorks classes, we used this CAD software to uh, create, to manipulate files that we found uh, on open source websites and improve them so that we could actually use them. Uh, we added on little nubs so that the shields could be connected and the shields would just need to use a three hole punch to be put on. And we also modified the end nubs so that you just have to loop around your uh, elastic and it's a very easy fit. Terrific. And then the process then would be that you have this design that's a, a CAD based design and then you take that design and you bring it into a slicing model, I believe? Yep. So we have a slicer uh, called Cura that uh, Dremel uses and um, we change the, the gaps in between so that they print with supports which we also learned about in our Oakland Community College classes. And then uh, using the knowledge I've learned, we change all of the settings and uh, optimize it for printing. And what type of material is that that you're using for these prints? Um, we learn how to use a variety of materials, including PETG, ABS, and PLA. I see. And so um, that's the process. Essentially, you draw it on CAD or you design it on CAD and then you bring it into the slicing software, the Bosch Dremel slicing software, which then generates the tool path for the 3D printer, yep. which then allows us to 3D print it. Yes. All right, Matt, thank you very much.